From the bleachers to the end zones, Red Iron Suckling down the coast. Live from the largest sports team on local television, this is Friday Football Focus. A big time league showdown highlight tonight's Friday Football Focus. I am Mike Clan. Let's get right to the Channel League Clash in Ventura at Larrabee Stadium. The Santa Barbara Dons paying a visit to the Ventura Cougars. SP could pull even with Ventura if they could hand the Cougars their first Channel League loss on the year. First possession of the game. Ventura is moving the ball. Bodie Foskey punched the ball out and DJ Wilson, he sure has a nose for the pigskin. He recovers it. Then the fun really starts for SP. First play from scrimmage, Abel Renteria to Kai Mould. He throws his first pass of the year. It's a strike to Winston Bartley. 72 yards on the catch and carry for the touchdown. What a play call by Nate Mendoza and his staff. They had a few of them tonight. Moments later, lightning strikes again. Another huge play for Santa Barbara. Kai Molt, the interception, and the junior so explosive in the open field. Ventura can't get him down. Molt with the pick six, 62-yard interception return for a touchdown. Two big early plays, putting Santa Barbara up 14-0. After a Don's fumble, Ventura moves down the field early second quarter. Gage Kushner gets near the goal line, and in fourth and one, Kushner fights his way into the end zone. Second effort gets it done. Ventura cuts the deficit to 14-7. Don's defense was as good as I've seen them all season long. Bodie Foskey was everywhere. He sacks Logan Scarlett. He had two of the four sacks in the game. Also had an interception. Key moment here. SB with the ball, fourth and one on their own 29. They not only go for it, they get it with the home run ball. Renteria to Jack Holdren, 69 yards on the gutsy call. Holdren did everything but scored down right before the goal line. That's Abel Renteria territory. He pulls his way into the end zone, giving the Dons a 21-7 halftime lead. Ventura manages just a second half field goal. Dons get a late touchdown by Koa Herrera. Santa Barbara gets the impressive road win. They win in Cougar Country. Final score 28 to 10. Both teams now 3 and 1 in the Channel League, 4 and 2 overall. Both teams have huge games next week as well. Ventura at Pacifica, SB at Rio Mesa. A mammoth matchup in the Mountain League, St. Joseph at a Royal Grande. Our mountain man, the rooster, Kevin Roos, has our action. Hey, Mike, we've got two of the favorites in the Mountain League going at it as Arroyo Grande welcomes in St. Joe. And when it comes to the recent history between these two, I'm reminded of the words of Will Ferrell in old school. We're going streaking. In the last 10 years, both of these teams have had five-year winning streaks against one another. So will the Knights extend that to six tonight, or will the Eagles start a whole new one? Let's find out. Eagles haven't beaten the Knights at home since 2017. Been a while. First quarter, Eagles getting the ball right back after a botched punt. Drake Missamore on fourth and nine. Are you kidding me? They're going for it. And they're going down the field. And the apple pays it on over to Caleb Clark, and he's good for six. Eagles up seven, nothing. They were celebrating. Knights trying to respond, though. Nicholas Matawatia dropping back and going down the field, but the Butler did it. Brandon Butler with the pick. They say one is the loneliest number, but not tonight. Great defense all night by AG. Knights finally getting on the board here. Josue Lopez bangs it through from about 29 yards out. It's up and good. Knights trailing seven to three. Moments later, Missamore going 44 yards down the field, finding Caleb Clark again. Nice catch here. That would set up this touchdown from about the one inch line. Moses Diaz getting the call and punching it in for six. It's 14-3 Eagles. That's how it would stay at the half. Longtime supporter and uh, PA announcer Terry Veal being honored tonight as the booster of the year. And then he got a nice surprise from his son who's in the military. Got to surprise his dad on his big night. So great moment at halftime. Move over to third quarter. Knights on the goal line. Matawatia getting the call and doing the quarterback keeper thing and getting it into the end zone. St. Joe down 14-10, making it interesting. But then now in the fourth quarter, May I have this dance, Ben Waltz taking it into the end zone, going up the middle. That would make it 21 to 10 Eagles, and then Junior Hurley, he would score the final touchdown as Arroyo Grande goes on to get the win tonight. 28 to 10 Eagles at Napomo next week. Knights will host San Inez in Arroyo Grande for Friday Football Focus. I'm Kevin Roos. Mike, back to you. Thanks, Kevin. Big win for AG. Now staying in the Mountain League for Paso Robles at Lompoc, Tony Almanza has our highlights. 
Hey Mike, last week Lompoc lost a tough one. Paso Robos, they got their first win of the season. Last year when these teams played each other, we were in for a good game. Let's see how tonight's game goes. The Braves looking for win number three while the Bearcats look for their second win of the season. On their first offensive possession, Lompoc was able to drive the ball downfield and Noah Kennard runs it in for the first score of the game. The Bearcats now on offense and it's Ashton Murphy who takes the handoff, outrunning the defense and making guys miss for a big game, but he gets tackled at the one yard line. On the next play, Murphy runs it down the middle to put the Bearcats on the board. Lompoc answered right back, Arango connects to Nelson Modenado. Modenado jumping up to make a great catch and he is able to get in for another Braves touchdown. And it's Lompoc back on offense. Quick pass to Jacob Manzo. Manzo follows his blockers and he takes it in for another touchdown. Paso was able to get another touchdown as it's Murphy again running it in from nine yards out. But this game was all Lompoc with seconds to go before halftime. The Braves with a trick play as it's Manzo who finds Maldonado wide open for a 60 yard touchdown. Maldonado had three touchdowns in the first half. And the Braves beat the Bearcats 51 to 14. Lompoc plays Rigetti next week and Paso Robos has mission prep next. Thank you, Tony. The double pass is working tonight. More Mountain League action next with highlights from Napomo and Mission Prep, plus back to the Channel League with stops at Buena and Pacifica.